I'm back with another video. As y'all can tell by the title, I am doing a very, very realistic day in the life of a single mom who just had her baby. Now, my baby girl is one month old and she has a doctor's appointment today. So I just got, her, well, she just woke up. It's like 7 40. So she's just big chilling right now. I just got her bottle fixed. I, um, I was gonna be an exclusive pumper, but right now I just, I pump and I put her on my titty. So right now I just fixed her a bottle that I pumped and I'm about to feed her. Hopefully I can get her back to sleep until her doctor's appointment so I can have time to get her clothes picked out and try to straighten up the house and fix me some breakers and whatnot. So yeah. Let's Today she will be going, sorry y'all, to try to be a fluencer. I don't know if y'all didn't see good. Big girl chilling. Today she will be going to her grandparents' house so I can also have more time to clean up. And um, I'm gonna try to use today to run a few errands and see what the day will take us. Yes, y'all. This big girl. I can't wait to see how much she weighed today, y'all. Because she is huge. She hurt my back. She was that big. But, yeah. Hopefully, I can get her back to sleep. And I will be back with you guys when I get done feeding her and put her down. Because I might have to pull out my teeth, too. Because sometimes... She's a little greedy and she wants the bottle and her teeth. Right now, I'm feeding her two and a half ounces at one month, but next week, um, she's gonna be six weeks next week, and I'm gonna take it up to three ounces. So, hopefully, that satisfies her enough. So, y'all see her trying to hold on bottle? That girl, something else. Anyways, I'll be back with you guys when I um put her down hopefully bye well not bye but later okay y'all so I just put the baby down well actually she been asleep for about 30 some minutes I just was laying there with her because I love my baby so much but anyways I just got up because um it's actually time to start getting things ready I need to pack her diaper bag for the doctor's appointment and for her me drop off at her grandparents house and I need to um, pump because I thought she was going to want to suck on the titty, but I guess not. So I have a lot of um, buildup going on and I need to pump and let this out. So I'm going to wash my pump real quick. Shove this an eyelash in my eye. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I need to pump. And once I get done pumping, I'm going to pack her back bag while she's still sleeping. Hopefully she give me a good hour of sleep and then I'm gonna need to feed her one more time before we go to the doctor's appointment because I know she'll be up by the end. And we're just gonna take it from here. Take it from there. So um let me get my uh camera holder. But anyways I'ma be back with you guys when I put my pump on and we um get things rolling. Okay, y'all, so I have my manual pump on right now because um, my other one, my automatic one broke. And I'm starting to think it's me because that's the second pump I've been through so far that has broken. So, so loud. I am in my baby girl's room because I need to find her outfit and I need to um, pack her that bag. Her room is very, very junky. That's why. And I'm kind of, she's been sleeping in here, but she hasn't been sleeping in here lately. Like the past two days, she hasn't been sleeping in here, but. So that's going to be on my to-do list today is to um get this room back clean so she can get back in here. As you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can notice it, but I got bad eczema over my entire face. And it only comes in the wintertime. But luckily, this winter, I 
have a baby and I'm breastfeeding. So once I put that breast milk on my face, because that's what I've been doing the past couple, like the past week, I've been putting the breast milk on my face and it's been doing wonders. It's actually was worse than this. You can see when I do that. It was actually way worse than this, y'all. So I'm glad that we were able to, you know, figure something out. Let me set up the camera while I pick out baby girl's outfit. Ah! Okay, y'all, my sugar plum started crying, so yeah, I had to go get her. I think her diaper is wet. It feels wet. So, gonna just set my boo up right here. Yeah, you see her. Someone has the bubble guts. Hopefully you get that out your system before we go to the doctor. Let's turn this heat off. You ready, Marshall? You ready? Oh, oh. Alright, y'all. We're heading her back to the bedroom. And hopefully I can put my baby back to sleep so I can get some more things done. Because she usually doesn't wake up She usually doesn't wake up like this. Had to go wipe off a pacifier. Oh, come on. You want mine to lay down with you, huh? Mm -mm -mm. My girl is spoiled, rotten, y'all. 
But all right, I'm going to be back with y'all when I put my baby back to sleep. And hopefully we can get things done before the doctor woman and so we won't be late. Okay, y'all. So I had to, I ran out of storage. So I do some deleting and stuff like that. And I just said, I will wait till I get in the car with my baby and we head to the um, doctor's office. So that's where we're at right now. We're headed to the doctor's office and I'm gonna have, probably have to do some more deleting and get this vlog going because I don't know, ever since I had the baby, yes, I've been just taking pictures and videos of her nonstop. So I'm not surprised that I ran out of storage in the middle of me vlogging. So, I'm not gonna, I was gonna record during this car ride because it's only a five minute car ride and talk to you guys. But since I don't have any storage, I'm gonna just record on the way um, from the doctor's office. Um, I was supposed to go drop her off to her granny's, but she just informed me that the lights are out on that part of town. So obviously I can't bring the baby to her with the lights out. And, um, so I'm gonna just bring her back home with me I might do run my errands with her. I might run my errands with her and just bring it and bring her back home. And then whenever the lights come on, I just, I might run her back up there so I can have some peace to myself. But uh, if the lights don't come back on, I'm just gonna have to, you know, bring her and keep her with me. You know, I, I don't mind chilling with my bestie. You know, I really don't mind chilling with my bestie. Oh, I saw y'all, I wanna show y'all this camera I have because it's just so convenient you guys it's just so convenient do you guys see that like i'm trying to drive but like it is so convenient i don't have to try to stretch and look back at her i don't have to try to look at no mirror in the reflection i can just glance up at the camera and see exactly what she's doing and if she's okay or not you know it's so convenient and i just love it i absolutely love it you guys Okay, y'all, we have arrived at the doctor's office and I just grabbed all her paperwork because I didn't, didn't feel like, didn't have time to look for what I had to really need it. So I just grabbed her paperwork. I'm trying not to wake her up because she's asleep right now. I forgot her blanket. Me and this woman got the same diaper bag, y'all. Okay, whew, I found the blanket, y'all. It's a little dirty. Found it. Okay. Y'all. Children are a blessing, but I wouldn't recommend having them. See y'all when I get inside. Okay, y'all, we at the doctor's office and they say baby girl is 10 pounds waiting on the next doctor to come in. She been acting up, y'all, so I'm really ready for her to get up out of here so I can get her back home. Um, yeah, my head look a mess. She been acting up. I'm just glad she's not the only baby in here cooping and hollering and crying. So, but she didn't calm down now, y'all. So, hopefully this visit don't be long. We're waiting on one more daughter to come in. They say she's 10 pounds. She is 21 inches. She was 19. She's 21 inches now. So, my baby girl is growing tremendously and great. Um. So, yeah. I'm just going to wait till the daughter to come in. And we'll check back in later. Thank you. 
You just want to be warm. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. We're almost finished. Oh, my poor baby. They said when she was born, she had like some type of um, it's a hernia. Yeah, they said it was gonna go away. She should. It okay. should. Um, so they should go away by the time she's born. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she should go away by the time she's two years old. If it does not go the, away by the time she's two, then I would send y'all to like the surgeon for an examination and see if they need to do anything. But basically, what it is is just her little muscles are weak right there, um, and so her the stuff that's supposed to be inside of her belly kind of bulges out a little bit. Okay. As long as it's soft and you can kind of push it back in gently, um, it's nothing to worry about. Okay. If it's ever red, hard, seems like it's causing her any discomfort, definitely let us know about that. Or actually go to, go to the emergency well, when, room. Well, when she cries, it, it, it like... Oh, yeah, okay, that's, that's okay. That's, that's, normal. That's, that's totally fine. It's just increasing the pressure inside of her belly, so it pushes it out. Okay, cool. But yeah, so over time, her little muscles are going to get stronger. And then it'll kind of like hold everything back. But it usually takes until about age two. Totally normal. Very, very common. Very common. Had the last baby had one, huh? The last baby I saw. All right, let me see. Do, do, I know. You don't want to be messed with it, huh? That's a good ear. That's a good ear. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, so we just not leaving the doctor's office. Um my my mom and my grandmother is at my house because the lights are off in their town, like I said earlier. And it's kind of taking a damper on my day off from the baby because all of them is at my house. I was supposed to have some me time, you know, sip on a little alp alp, you know, do what I needed to do. But I'm starting to think I can still kind of make that happen. So we're on the way home. I'm going to drop my baby off because it's supposed to be my day off. I'm going to make sure she's good and settled. And then I'm going to hit the road and do what I need to do because... Like I said, it was supposed to be my day off, but everything is was looking great at the doctor's office, y'all. So, um, I don't know. I think I might just end this vlog here and just do another separate vlog with me just having a good time. This depends on how long it is so far. Um, if it's too long, I'm going to probably separate it. But if it ain't too long, it's all going to be um, together. I had to put my phone, my camera down because the police sitting. But yeah, um... I am on the way home. I'm not going to record the whole drive home, even though I'll be going to talk to y'all because, like I said, I don't have no storage. So I got to look at my storage and try to delete some more stuff for y'all so I can record. But as y'all kind of saw at the doctor's office, um, everything was perfect and everything was good. She has another doctor's appointment. But she, my doctor, the, her doctor, wants to see her every month. So every month, y'all going to get a cool little video and I'm going to update y'all on my baby's growth. They say she is growing tremendously well and she is tall on the tall side, which really makes, I mean, it's understandable. Everybody in my family is tall except me. I'm the one that's short. I got the short end of the stick, but everybody else is tall. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hit you guys up when I get back on the road because I'm going to go home and I'm going to drop her off and make sure she's good and settled. And then I'm going to hit the road and I'm going to have me some fun. Okay. Okay. I had to get out of that other shirt because uh, my, my skin on the side was showing something. I wasn't too far today. But I am on the way to get me a little daiquiri. Um, it's still early, but by the time I get there, it'll be good in about 12-ish, 30-ish. I tried not to drink alcohol before 12 o'clock. Y'all, the bags are bagging. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. But, yeah. I'm on my way there, and then I'm going to stop and see my boo. I was being supposed to see him, but as y'all know, things things have been taking place today. And I was supposed to see him about 30 minutes ago, but yeah, it's whatever. So, once I get my little daiquiri from up here, I'm going to stop by his job. I don't know why he want me to see him so bad at his job, because I could have waited till he got off 
to go see him, but oh, it's whatever. He must got something to do have when he get out. But because he ain't my man, but you know he my little, you know. So yeah, I'm going to go see him. I probably won't blog that because I don't know. He might let me because he know I got my little YouTube going and all that, but. Yeah, he might let me record, but we haven't talked in a minute, so that might be like a little personal conversation that we're gonna have to have. And yeah, the power just went back on, so things are looking up. My baby will be able to go back to the grandparents' home. Um, yeah, so I can have my night to myself and just relax, y'all, because. Like, oh my god, I didn't know y'all as y'all can see, like it's I really haven't been getting any sleep and I I wouldn't trade anything for the world. I wouldn't trade any of this for anything because I love my baby to death and I wouldn't trade this for nothing. So yeah, if I got to lose sleep for my baby girl, I would lose sleep for my baby girl. Um but yeah, I do need a good nice rest of pure deep sleep like yeah like you know so my mama asked me you sure you, you want me to still take her but you know yes baby take her even though I love her to death take her take her take her yeah but anyways I will um hit you guys back up after I probably get my daiquiri or after I see my boo so or no it will be after one of those but and i know i will hit you guys back up when i get to my home because i still have to do some cleaning and i think i might do a little touch just a little minor touch up because i really want to just relax so yeah i will hit you guys back up after that okay y'all i am sitting at the park with my man my boo that boy and i got my daiquiri we went and got him some lunch he outside taking a call, so I just did a little vlog because he went too far. That well, I don't know. We went talking, so it's whatever. But he about to go back to work, and I'm finna go sip on my daiquiri and just chill. So, yeah. He had to get out of the car and smoke because, you know, I can't do that smoking in the car with my car seat in here with my baby and stuff. So, you know, I don't play that. And he, and he don't play that either. So, but yeah, he been talking about me like a dog, y'all, like jungling me. Talking about I done gained some weight or whatever. That's just how we talk to each other. I have put on some pounds since he last seen me, though, y'all, like. Cause he didn't see. Okay, y'all. So I am back at home, and literally after drinking this um big old daiquiri, I'm kind of it for the day, y'all. I think I'm gonna call it. I literally, my mama just came and got my baby, and it hurted my soul to leave my baby. Like I don't know why, but it's like I'd be ready to get rid of her, but soon as she leave my side, I be wanting my baby to. In my arms, but anyways, I just um just they just drove off and left, and I'm like kind of so tipsy that I think I'm just gonna fix me some dinner later, and I'm gonna call it a night, y'all. I'm gonna take my bath and I'm gonna call it a night. I will clean tomorrow because she told me she was gonna keep my baby for three days, um because I have a doctor's appointment coming up <sighs> Monday, I believe. I have a doctor's appointment Monday, so she's gonna keep her. Saturday and Sunday for me and I will get her back up uh, but yeah I think I'm just gonna clean tomorrow because your girl is done for and I need to put my bag things on my eyes because I think it's enough because my little my little yes yeah said like somebody that punched me in my eyes my bags are so heavy and it's really killing me I hate when I have bags y'all like 
I know I'm losing sleep when I said I wouldn't trade it, but I hate having bags. So I'm about to put some little bags on my eyes and I'm going to relax and cook me a little dinner in a minute. And yeah, we're just going to see where the night takes us. So I'm going to hit y'all back up in a minute.